My name is Oscar Jimenez and I play uh, center midfielder. I would describe myself as a very calm and smooth player. I like to get involved as much as I can, be around the ball as much as I can, but obviously it doesn't always happen. When I started playing soccer, I was probably 10 years old. I played uh, on this team sponsored by Tyrell S. Schwab in uh, Washington State. And then I grew up playing in the streets with my cousins or anybody around the neighborhood. I used to live in an apartment complex where everybody would gather on the street and just put two shoes on, on the pavement and uh, just get after it. And then obviously pick up the shoes when cars were driving by. I went to Western Washington University, Division II program. I was kind of just used to playing full 90s when I was in club soccer. and. When I went there, I was uh, had to battle for a spot. There was a lot of very good center midfielders, so it was it was a tough tough thing to come like to terms with. Like, hey, you got to work harder. And I mean, I always worked hard, but it was just something like I need to work extra hard to try to get a spot on that team. There was uh, an injury for a right back, and I was thrown in there. Completely new to me, but I went in there and I just did what I, I just worked hard and did what the coach asked, and I, it started coming along for me and. My career there was, was great and I just learned how to learn from people that have played in the past instead of not paying attention to what they're saying because I feel like sometimes ego comes into play and you don't want to take things from people but I definitely learned a lot from the coaches and just some of the older players so once I started getting older I started bringing those same things to the younger players and teaching them the ways and uh, I think it made me a very calm and kind of kind of a leader while I was there. I was a coach just recently actually and uh, at Western Washington, a volunteer, and it's helped me as a player because uh, I understand that sometimes players around this age, like my age or a little bit younger, there's certain players that don't necessarily listen to you or want your feedback and there's different types of ways to communicate to certain players. Some react better if you yell at them and put them down, but some don't. And it's just learning that kind of helps me with my teammates now. Learning their ways, learning if it's okay to yell at this guy, like give me the ball, or is it better to be like, hey, next time you see me open there, just maybe play me there. Um, so in that sense, I think it's helped me a lot. Story behind coming to Tulsa, I went to a uh, combine in San Diego. It was a, a three-day combine, and we just scrimmaged every day, like a full, probably an hour. I just prepared well for it. The two weeks before going, heading off to San Diego, I, I uh, ran a lot. I uh, lifted, made sure everything was sharp, did a lot of touches on the ball. Because I'd been to some combines before, and I felt like I was a little nervous and tried to do a little bit too much. And so uh, this time around, I just decided to focus on my game and not really just Play my, be myself, and if the coaches like me, then the coaches like me. I wasn't trying to do anything spectacular or anything that I don't do on the ordinary. Luckily, Dave came up to me and said, like, you've been doing well, like, you sh showed interest, and as long as some other coaches, and it was, it was good. It was really a happy moment for me. My experience with Coach Irving, I met him last year. I was trialing with Wilmington, and I had a pretty good vibe with him. I love how he's a jokester, but my relationship so far with him is pretty good. We crack some jokes here and there. I feel comfortable enough to say something funny to him, but sometimes he kind of gives you this look like, uh, what are you saying? Like kind of like your joke's not good, good to his standard, but no, he's, he's fun to be around and uh, I'm excited to be coached by him for this season. The team is definitely starting to come together. First couple days, it was very, very quiet. Um, people would just be sitting in the team room kind of on their phones, just looking around, but now it's a little bit more of just talking to each other and cracking jokes and being funny to one another, having nicknames and secret handshakes and whatnot. I've known Gibson since uh, my college days. We both went to Western Washington University in Bellingham, Washington. I came in as a freshman and got to know this really yappy person that uh, didn't know how to keep his mouth shut. It was a fun time though. He's got a good jokes and he's got a lot of good stories and I got along with him very well, got a good connection on the field, which was good throughout the college years, and a uh, you know, fun guy to be, be around. Oh yeah, I'm definitely better than Gibson. If you get him a little wound up, he kind of loses his mind, and I know how to play, tickle that little spot in his brain, so uh, I'd say me, for sure. We're a new club, but the 
Roughnecks have a great past and I guess it was every team hated coming here and playing here so we're looking to do the same thing and if you're interested in watching a highly competitive match with lots of quality players I would encourage you all to come out.